Yo, what's up guys? It's King Sean here, back with another video, and in today's video, I will be discussing which free agents the Washington Commanders should let go or resign. Well, and resign. So, if you guys are new to my channel, leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'm on the road to 3K subs. If you could hit that sub button, I'd really appreciate it. And with that, let's get straight into the video. All right, so here are all of our 2024 free agents. You can't see them all on one screen. Uh, Cam Curl is down here at the bottom, and he's actually the guy I'm going to start with here. So, let's do it. Cam Curl. Um, obviously, he's been with us for four years. He was drafted in 2020 um, back in the seventh round of um, the 2020 NFL Draft. And he's been very solid with us. I mean, in his rookie season, he had three interceptions. I remember that pick six he had against the Niners. That was absolutely beautiful. We only scored defensive touchdowns against the Niners that year back in 2020. Um uh, so that's that. But Cam Curl, he had a very good rookie season with us. He's been solid in every one of his seasons. I'd say probably this past season, actually, 2023 season, was probably his worst season with us. But it was still a solid season as well. I mean, the whole, entire defense wasn't great. So it was really only him and Kenneth Fuller that, um, you know, were playing good. But Cam Curl, I, I do want to re-sign Cam Curl. I know a lot of um, Commanders fans kind of don't want to re-sign Cam Curl, but... We we don't have a lot of pieces on this defense. I mean, we we just don't have a lot. We might trade Jonathan Allen this offseason. We extended Deron Payne last offseason. Our DBs sucked. On, our only good DBs right now under contract. Well, we have no D good DBs under contract um, for next season. Emmanuel Forbes, he wasn't great this last season. I still want to believe in Emmanuel Forbes, but right now he doesn't look too good. And Benjamin St. Juice, he, he isn't good. All right, he he's not good. So we really don't have any good players on this roster well, under contract. So resigning Cameron Curl might be in the best interest of Adam Peters because he'd be one of our cornerstones. Um, you know, Deron Payne could be one of our cornerstones as well. Maybe Derek Forrest. Um, you have Jamin Davis. Maybe Emmanuel Forbes. Maybe. But I doubt it just based off his play this past season. I still really hope. I think Emmanuel Forbes can still be good because I feel like Jack Del Rio... I mean, we played a lot of man last year, especially early on in the season, and that goes against Emmanuel Forbes' strength. So I, I want to believe in Emmanuel Forbes, but as of right now, I don't know if I can. So resigning Cameron Curl would be in our best interest for sure, in my opinion. His market value per spot track is $15.3 million annual salary. That is a bit much, not going to lie. Um, he hasn't had a turnover. Well, he hasn't had an interception since 2020 his rookie season, so that could decrease his value a little bit. He hasn't, he isn't, Camp Curl, he's a very solid guy, okay? When he's out there on the field, you can see the impact he has on our defense, especially last year back in um, 2022. You, you could see it. When he wasn't out there, our defense just didn't look great. So when he's out there, he makes a difference. So I think $15.3 million is a lot. I would pay him somewhere between like 11 to $12 million. $11 million is it would be good for me, maybe 11 and a half, maybe 12. I'd give Cam Curl like a four year, $44 million deal. I think that would be good for him. Definitely good because he's a very, very solid safety. He's an underrated safety in this league. Next up, Kendall Fuller. I really like Kendall Fuller. I, he's He's been solid. We signed him. Obviously, we drafted him back in 2016. It's crazy how he's only 29 years old. He was drafted back in 20, um, uh, sorry, 2016. So it's crazy how he's only 29 years old, but uh, he's been solid. We signed him back in 2020. He was solid in 2020, 2021. I'd say 2021 was probably his worst season, but he still wasn't bad then. He was really good in 2022 and solid this past season. Like I said, him and Cam Curl were our only good DBs this past year, So, which which is unfortunate, which is unfortunate. Uh, we wish we got better play from our DBs and our defense in general, but his um, market value per spot track is at $14 million per season. I think that's a bit much. When we signed him back in 2020, we signed him to a four-year $40 million deal, $10 million per year, which is a pretty solid contract. So giving him $14 million per year is a bit much, not going to lie. I'd probably get, if, I don't think we'll bring Kendall Fuller back, but if we did, I wouldn't be mad if we did. Maybe we should because, like I said, we don't got a lot of pieces on this defense. So maybe re-signing him could be in Adam Peters' um, best interest. So, But his market value, $14 million per year. I'd give him somewhere between $8 million to $10 million per year max. 
probably $11 million, but preferably 8 to $10 million per year. So Kenneth Fuller been a very solid corner for us, and he'd probably be our cornerback too. We'd probably like sign up cornerback one in free agency, maybe draft one. Um, so see about that, but I definitely would not be opposed to re-signing Kendall Fuller. Uh, Jacoby Brissett, we shouldn't re-sign Jacoby Brissett. I wish, and I know, I know he played solid against the Rams, he played solid against the Jets, excuse me, but still, um, we shouldn't re-sign him. We signed him to a, uh, $7 million, or I'm pretty sure $10 million, a one-year $10 million deal to be a backup, so we can easily just draft the backup, or Sam Howell, he can be a good backup as well. I know he didn't play great this past season, but He's definitely a solid backup. Or we could sign a um, backup for way cheaper than $10 million, which is kind of crazy, not going to lie. So I want to bring Jacoby Brissett back. I I wish we would have traded him this season, maybe get like a sixth or a seventh from someone like the Browns or the Vikings. Uh, Cody Barton, no. He, I mean, y'all know, Cody Barton, he was terrible. He was terrible. Our only good linebacker, like our only solid linebacker, or even decent linebacker this past season, was Jamin Davis. He wasn't amazing. Jamin wasn't amazing, but he was still pretty solid. Cody Barton was horrid. He didn't play a full season. He missed like four to five games. But even when he came back, he was a bit better when he came back. He was making some plays here and there, but still obviously wouldn't resign him. He's 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 pretty bad. All right, he's terrible. Cornelius Lucas, I would be opposed to resigning him. Um, he He'd be good depth. He'd be good def. He'd be a good swing tackle, which he has been for the past couple of seasons um, in his time here in Washington. So I wouldn't be opposed to re-signing him, but he wasn't great towards the end of the season. So we'll see about him. Jeremy Reeves, he's someone I would re-sign. He, was, he made the Pro Bowl um, in 2022 as a special teams player. He's he's a really good special teammate for us, okay? He's a really good special teams player for us. I, I thought we signed him to like a two-year deal, to be honest, last offseason, but it was only a one-year deal, so I think it was a transition tag, actually, Actually, so something like that, but hopefully we do re-sign Jeremy Reeves. I like him a lot. F.A. Obata, our edge rushers like F.A. Obata, um, James Smith-Williams, Casey Tuo, I don't really care if we re-sign those guys or not. It won't really, you know, affect us um, majorly, but F.A. Obata, he did get injured against the Giants. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to re-signing him. James Smith-Williams, he didn't look great this past season. Casey Tuo actually made a couple of plays, not going to lie. He wasn't amazing, though. So I wouldn't. I, I don't really care if we re-sign those guys or don't re-sign those guys. Kaliki Hudson, I'd actually re-sign Kaliki Hudson. I would, maybe like to a one-year deal, like um, cheap a deal, cheap one-year deal. He showed, he showed some promise, especially towards the end of the season where Jamin was hurt, so he had to start a couple of games. And he was making plays. He made a lot of tackles, tackles for losses. So he was. I'm pretty sure he had like a fumble against the Rams as, as well. I could be wrong, though. But he was making plays towards the end of the season. Who else do we got here? Tyler Larson. Eh. If we resign him, if we don't resign him, is what it is. David Mayo. Nope. Nah. Nah. Like he and Cody Barton. Those are the two guys that need to go. The absolute most. They were horrible this past season. <laughs> David Mayo, he doesn't contribute anything to this team. I mean, his best ability is at is um in a run game, run stopper. He's bad at that too. So he's a liability in coverage. He's horrible in coverage. So he just can't do anything. Uh, Antonio Gibson. Antonio Gibson is the last like really really important guy. I like Ag. He was amazing in his rookie season. He was really good in his twenty in twenty twenty one. However, running back is just a super is a very easy to uh, a very easy position. Sorry, to replace and Antonio Gibson. He didn't play the last couple of ga- games. I think I'm pretty sure I could be wrong though. But uh, Chris Rodriguez got some action. He looked really good until he got injured. Uh, obviously Brian Robinson. He is our run- running back one. It's pretty obvious. So I wouldn't. I I personally would let Antonio Gibson go. I would let him walk, and then I prefer us to draft a running back. Well, in the draft, someone like Marshawn Lord or a Bucky Irving, an explosive back. We expected Antonio Gibson to be that for us, but we really didn't see that speed. Um, he was he was solid this past season. I'm not gonna lie, he was solid this past season. If we were to resign him, I wouldn't mind, but I would personally let him walk in free agency because running back is just such an easy position to replace. Uh, who else do we got? James Crowder. Wouldn't be mad if we resign him. Byron Pringle. 
I let him walk. Alex Harm, I let him walk. Sadiq Charles, he wasn't great this past season. I let him walk. Terrell Burgess, walk. Yeah, everyone else on here, really. Jabril Cox, Brandon Dillon, uh, Curtis Brooks, Tucker Addington. He's a long snapper. We uh, signed midseason. And then Alex Inkingbulu. I would let all of those guys walk. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe, turn on notifications. I'm on the road of 3K subs. If you could, hit that sub button. Comment down below which guys you would want the commanders to resign or let walk. And other than that, it's been King Sean, and I'm out. Peace.